All right, welcome. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you and happy Memorial Day. Amen. It's going to be tomorrow, but we're celebrating today. Amen. So, feliz domingo por la mañana y feliz día de los caídos. Amen. And uh, we want to welcome all of you. Bienvenido a toda la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. So, welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. And we invite you to join us uh, and be ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. Yeah. We want to welcome all those that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Yeah. So, thank God. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Y tiene bastante. But yeah. we have to partake. Yeah. Recibe, recibe lo que Dios tenga para ti. Amen. So praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct us. Amen. Amen. So praise God. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Be excited for him. You know, be excited to spend time with him. Yes. Amen. He wants to bless you. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Um, today we're going to be talking about Memorial Day, about the greatest soldier that ever lived. Oh, wow. And his name is Jesus. Yes. Amen. If you don't know this, you need to know this. Amen. Because once you receive him as Lord and Savior, you're automatically enlisted in God's army. And God's army is winning. Yes. We win all the time. Amen. We're in his winning team. And team is together, all of us, we all achieve more. Amen. Together, everyone achieves more. Because we're in unity and we're working together. We're not working against each other. We're working to complement each other. And we're working completely together. Amen. In unity. Woo. Hallelujah. That blessed me. I don't know about you. But the world competes. We yeah. complete. Just remember that. Write that down. You know. In wow. God's army, we complete one another. Not compete against each other. Amen. Yeah. The world is just pulling each other. Never want to go up or high. Uh, 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 What's the word? Climb up. Yeah. Rise up. Yes. We're always pulling each other down. Oh, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. We don't want to do that in God's army. That's we don't right. want to do that in, in, in the body of Christ. We want to lift each other up. We're so yeah. used to pushing people down instead yeah. of lifting them up. We're so used to speaking <laughs> negative instead of speaking positive. That's wrong. Amen. We got to get things right. So anyway, we want to welcome you. We got a few things we want to do. Uh, grab your sword, grab your Bible, yes. and uh, let's do this declaration together. Amen. Yeah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. That is an awesome declaration. This is my Bible. Where is yours? Yes. <laughs> I hope you grab it. Amen. We need to take it out and we need to get in the word and let yeah. the word, the truth, set us free from yeah. whatever the situation may be. There's so many distractions. Yeah. Amen. But the truth, the word of God will set us free from all those distractions. Amen. So we need we need to do that. We all need this. If you don't have this, you're lost. <laughs> if you don't have this, you're losing. Uh -huh. If you don't have this, the word of God. Uh, you got problems. Amen. But he says, cast all cares on me because he cares for you. Man, that's so simple. But it's so hard for some of us to do. Yeah. yeah. We got to give it up. The good call, surrender. Jesus went to the cross, spread out his arms, and surrendered himself to the Father in our case. Yes. Amen. That we might be saved. Woo. Salvation is free, but Jesus paid an awesome price for it. That's why he's the greatest soldier ever lived. Amen. Yeah. Man, I want to cry now. Praise God. Thank help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Hey, man, you know, we want to do this, and, and uh, we want to do this now. <laughs> we got something we want to read to you, and we want to do this in honor of our um, um, uh, Memorial. Memorial Day. Yes. Amen. So, everybody stand up. All right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We don't say these anymore, but we're going to say them here. Amen. Yes. Put your hand right over your heart and say, yes. you, follow me. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Well, uh, if that makes you mad, that's too bad. Get glad. <laughs> Be glad, amen. So happy Memorial Day, yes. 2021. Amen. It's a day of remembrance. It's a day of celebration. It's a day of rejoicing. And it's a day of gladness, amen. amen. So we have a prayer that we want to read. Uh, Pastor Pat is in the back with her mic. And she's going to read it for us. Praise Remember God. that when you receive Jesus, you're enlisted in God's army. So yes. you're a soldier for Jesus, whether you know it or not. Yes. So put on the uniform. It says put on the whole uh, armor of on. God. Amen. Amen. Have the whole armor of God. Amen. Go ahead. A soldier's prayer. I am a soldier in the army of my God. The Lord Jesus Christ is my commanding officer. The Holy Scriptures is my code of conduct. Faith, prayer, and the word are my weapons of warfare. I have been taught by the Holy Spirit, trained by experience, tried by adversity, and tested by fire. I am a volunteer in this army, and I am enlisted for eternity. I will not get out, sell out, be talked out, or pushed out. I am faithful, reliable, capable, and dependable. If my God needs me, I am there. I am a soldier. I am not a baby. I do not need to be pampered, petted, primed, up, pumped up, picked up, or kept up. I am a soldier. No one has to call me, remind me, write me, visit me, entice me, or lure me. I am a soldier. I am not a wimp. I am in place, saluting my king, obeying his orders, praising his name, and building his kingdom. No one, no one has to send me flowers, <laughs> gifts, food, cards, or candy, or give me handouts. I do not need to be cuddled, cradled, cared for, or catered to. I am committed. I cannot have my feelings hurt bad enough to turn me around. I cannot be discouraged enough to turn me aside. I cannot lose enough to cause me to quit. When Jesus called me into this army, I had nothing. If I end up with nothing, I will still come out ahead. I will win. My God has and will continue to supply all of my needs. I am more than a conqueror. I will always triumph. I can do all things through Christ. The devil cannot feed, defeat me. People cannot disillusion me and weather cannot weary me. Sickness cannot stop me. Battles cannot beat me. Money cannot buy me. Governments cannot silence me. And hell cannot handle me. I am a soldier. Even death cannot destroy me. For when my commander calls me from his battlefield, he will promote me to captain and then allow me to rule with him. I am a soldier in the army, and I'm marching claiming victory. I will not give up. I will not turn around. I am a soldier, marching heaven bound. Here I stand. Will you stand with me? Amen. Hallelujah, boy. That, yeah. whew, that <laughs> made me stand. I was already yeah. standing, but I was, I was proud. You know what? I served in the military for 20-plus years, and uh, I was proud to do that, and I'm still proud. But I'm even yeah. more proud to be in God's army. Yes. Amen. You should be the same. And you know, he wants to use all of us. He's called all of us. All he's of called us. you individually. Yes. Yes. Amen. And he's anointed you and he's yes. uh, equipped you. Amen. Yes. So you're equipped. You're called and you're equipped. So if you're still waiting, this word is for you. Yes. It's time to get up. Yes. Nicole Siyama and do yes. something for him. Amen. Say, Lord, here I am. Use me. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He's going to use you. Yes, Amen. So... If you haven't said that or if you have never asked him to come, just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And get busy for God. Yes. Amen. It's not time to sit and wait. You know, it's time to press on. Yes. Amen. Is. We're moving on. We're letting the past go and we're pressing on. We're letting the weights out and we're pressing on. Amen. We're casting all that cares, all the weight, all the distractions yes. away. And we're pressing on to be with him. Amen. Remember, we're talking about the greatest soldier ever lived. <laughs> so get yourselves ready. Just a quick little thing about Memorial Day is tomorrow, Monday, May 31st, 2021. Observed last Monday of May. Amen. A great day to fly your flag with honor, respect, and application. I might get a little out of uh, uh, control here, but uh, I'm excited. <laughs> I just want to let you know that if you don't think this is for you, it affects you because it affects freedom. Yes. And people have given their lives for freedom. Yes. Yes, they have. 
especially Jesus. Yes. He gave his life that we might live. <laughs> Amen. And we're talking about in heaven with him. Amen. Yes. So praise yes. God. Praise Just a God. quick thing. Remember and then honoring the men and women who have served, given their lives yes. to preserve the freedom of this country. Yes. Amen. If you live in the United States or if you have come here, you're born here, whatever. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to confess to be honored to this country, to give honor to this country. Amen. Yeah. Because of what people have gone through, what people have sacrificed for you to have this freedom. Many people coming here, everyone coming here because there's a lot of freedom in what you can do. Honor God. Honor those that have given their lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. Some return in handicap for life. Some rejected by governments, society, families, spouses. As believers, we must never forget what Jesus did for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember, we're a spirit. We have a soul and we live in a body. Yes. <laughs> Spirit-wise, Jesus took care of all these things. Mm -hmm. Amen. He took care of this. So we must not forget what he's done for us. He listen, he paid a price. Yes. He didn't know. Mm -hmm. And I owe a debt I cannot pay. That's right. a beautiful song. Yes. If you have never sang it, sung it, <laughs> sing it. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. He paid it all for us. Yes. Jesus died, buried, and, ra and raised. He's in heaven seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Give us free. He's given us free gift of salvation. Mm -hmm. But you have to receive it. Yes. Somebody gives you a gift. <laughs> very simple a lot of us don't understand this a gift is given yeah and for you to take for you to receive it you got to yes. take it you gotta take it. Mm -hmm. and he's given us a free gift of salvation mm -hmm. but we need to receive it. it says confess with your mouth right. the lord jesus amen you have to receive it nobody else can do it for you mom's done enough for you dad's done enough for you you have to do it for yourself you may not have a mom you may not have a dad maybe they're already gone but it's time for you to say, hey, Lord Jesus, I repent. I've sinned yes. against you. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. He won't reject anybody. That's right. But we can reject him because he's given us that freedom. Yes. Amen. So you choose where you want to be. Mm -hmm. You choose where you want to go. You want to go up or you want to go down. Oh, Don't blame him. That's <laughs> it. It's your choice. <laughs> the Bible says in John 3 16, for God so loved us or loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That whoever, that's where you're a whoever. Uh -huh. You can scratch that and put your name right there. That whoever, me, yeah. whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes, thank you. Lord. You know, if uh, you've heard this before, you got to get it right. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no life after death. Yeah. <laughs> there's no life after death. We're all going to die. You see people and you hear people. Uh, dying or they going somewhere mm. but you know I want to secure my eternity yes. by confessing him as my Lord and Savior Amen. so I don't know what you believe in but you better believe in the one that, that <laughs> died for you and receive him as your Lord and Savior yes. so I want to make sure when I die I'm going the right way yes. and not the wrong way Amen. but it's your choice don't blame nobody else That's it. so and so said mm. or whatever said I want to know what the Word of God says yes. and confess what yes. the Word of God says. Yes. Amen? Amen? So let's remember that. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Woo! Hallelujah. We're not going to hold you long, so <laughs> don't do this out. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> uh, this is the confession on a daily basis. Of course, this Word is all good. Yes, but uh, Psalms 1, 118 24 says, This is the day. Every day yeah. is the day the Lord has made. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. I'm in God's army. I'm in God's winning team yes. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? I rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, thank you, Lord. Or you can, you can be in the spirit, be in the word, mm -hmm. or you can be in the flesh mm -hmm. and take all the cares. Mm -hmm. And it's going to help you none. That's right. Amen. I know a lot of people in the hospital full of stress. Mm. Okay, you gotta be careful, amen. Cause stress kills. <laughs> yes. You know, why are you still stressful when you can cast all that stress on Him? Yes. Because He cares for you. Yes. Get in the Word, the Word of Truth. 
that's going to set you free from all yeah. these things that are holding you down, yeah. that are holding you back. Thank you. Amen. Woo, come on now. Let every day be a memorial day. Never forgetting what Jesus did. Never forgetting what our loved ones have done. Yes. Amen. And remember, you can write this down. I wrote it here somewhere. Don't say it don't apply to me. Freedom applies to all. Yeah. Freedom applies to all. You live in a free country. Why? Yeah. Because there's a lot of brothers, sisters, a lot of um, mothers, fathers, relatives that's given their sac sacrifice their lives for us. And this is the day we celebrate them and honor them and salute them and thank them. Amen? So let's remember this. Whether you've had somebody or nobody gone mm. and served, still it affects you because yes. it's about freedom. Yes. Amen? And you live in a free, the best free country in the world. Yes. Amen. Let's keep it that way. It says if my people, which are called by my name, yes. shall humble themselves and pray. pray. Amen. We need to pray. We need to do something. We, you know, uh, words are precious. Yes. And we got to do more than just speak negative things. Mm -hmm. We got to speak positive things. Yes. What does the word of God say? Mm -hmm. So that I can confess what his word is saying, yeah. not what I'm saying, and not repeating what somebody else yeah. is saying. Everybody wants to see us fail. Everybody wants to see this country fail. Amen? Mm -hmm. But we don't want this country to fail. That's Why? Right. Because if my people yes. will humble themselves and pray. Yes. we got to humble yeah. ourselves and pray. Yes. Amen? I know how to pray. You know how to speak? Then you know how to pray. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Uh, <laughs> I've had a lot of negative things come out of me. Mm. But i got to change that by getting in the Word yes. and confessing the right things and not the negative things. Right. And yes. you can have what you say. Yes. That's what the Word of God says. Yes. You can have what you say. All you have to do is say it. Speak it out. Mm -hmm. Words are seed. Yes. And seeds are planted. Yeah. And when seeds are planted, they come back. They grow and they come back uh -huh. at you. Because you said you right. planted those seeds and that fruit is yours. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So you don't want negative fruit. No. Don't plant negative seeds. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, come on. That's right. <laughs> Matthew 20 and 28, talking about our Jesus, says, Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Yes. You know that many right there? Includes yeah. you. Yeah. Includes you, so why haven't you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? Mm. Jesus died for you. He didn't have to, but he did. Yes. Man, we got lots to cover. Yes. <laughs> John 15, 13 says, Great love has no one than this, mm -hmm. than to lay down one's life for his friends. Yeah. This is what our loved ones have done for us. Mm -hmm. And we thank him, you know. All of the families I'm talking to right now, video, audio, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm just saying thank you for your loved ones that have sacrificed and given their lives for our freedom. Yes. Thank you, Lord, and thank you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. <laughs> Woo. One of my favorite stories, and I'll tell it to you as quick as I can, <laughs> but in April 1863 in Columbus, Mississippi, there were uh, decorating graves and this elderly lady walks over to her son's graves mm -hmm. in the south <laughs> and decorates her grave sites. But then she takes some of those flowers and she walks way over to the corner mm -hmm. and there's two graves, just dirt, mm -hmm. nothing. And she starts to decorate them. And everybody, Comes at her and says, wait a minute, that's the enemy. Yeah. You don't do that. They're from the north. You know what she says? This is what she says. But softly, the loving and compassionate mother and wife says, I know. She says, I also know somewhere in the north, a mother or a wife mourns and grieves. For them mm -hmm. they are not returning mm -hmm. they'll yeah. never see them again right and some of our loved ones that have gone overseas or wherever the battle was mm -hmm. never came back That's 
right. some never found some just blown to pieces mm. never to be enough to put together mm. and yet we have freedom and we just abuse that freedom mm. we have mm. and not even take a time to say thank you Lord, yes. and thank you to these loved ones that have given and sacrificed. Yes. Amen. Woo. Yeah. Pray for me. <laughs> yeah. They're not returning. Yeah. They'll never see them again. Mm -hmm. And not know where they fall or where they gave their lives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this mother, this love indeed set in motion our celebration that we call today Memorial Day or remembrance day mm -hmm. amen so you know what i know there's a service somebody has a service here that they go to the grave sites and they put american flags on all the military all the service people yeah. men and women and they put a service flag a mm -hmm. american flag on each one of those grave sites yeah. maybe you've never done that before because you never had somebody but you can adopt one of these yes you live in a free country because of one of these who gave their lives for you to have the freedom. Amen. They wanted to live just as bad as you do. Yeah. They wanted to do all the things you want to do. Mm -hmm. But they sacrificed and they went. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Thank you, Lord. We all know someone who served, gave their lives. Dads, moms, brothers, sisters, relatives, aunts, uncles, whatever, grandpas, grandmas, friends, co-workers. Yeah. Their service time, their dedication, their courage is appreciated not just once a year, mm -hmm. but every year. Yes. Amen. Every yeah. day. Freedom is never free. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. They're gone, but they're not forgotten. Yeah. And we want to yeah. say thank you for your sacrifice yes. and thank you for your service time. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Jesus went through all this. Yes. And we're going to get into this. We need to know that, well, Jesus has never been through this. <laughs> so he don't know what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. No, he went through all this. Yes. But had no sin. That's right. So that he knows what we go through. Yes. Amen. And we can go to him and say, Lord, I need help. It's yeah. me again. <laughs> I need help again. Mm -hmm. It's okay. But he wants us to come to him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Also, all the veterans. Of course, we have a veteran state. All veterans that are serving. And have served. Thank you. We love you. We pray for you. Amen. Praying for those they left, they left behind. Freedom. Again, this is where I wrote. Freedom affects everyone, including yes. all. All is all. Families, yes. friends, and uh, no service members. Sometimes we choose our favorite holiday. Uh, I know you love Christmas because you get something. Mm -hmm. And you love uh, uh, Thanksgiving. You love Easter. Some of us don't even know what Memorial Day is. Yeah. Maybe you can enjoy this freedom by, uh, <laughs> but we could not enjoy this freedom and be assembled here today That's without right. their sacrifice. So That's again, right. thank you. Let me read this to you, a scripture, and uh, we'll move on. John 15, chapter 15, verses 12 through 18. And this is an easy to read version. It says, this is, in verse 12, this is my commandment. That you love one another as I have loved you. Verse 13. Greater love has no one than this. That someone lay down his life for his friend. Amen. You are my friends. This is verse 14. You are my friends. If you do not do what I command you. If you. Excuse me. If you are my friends. If you do what I command you. Mm -hmm. No longer do I call you servants. Mm -hmm. You are the servants for the servant does not know what the master is doing. Mm -hmm. But I call you friends. Mm -hmm. For all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. Yes. And 16 says, you did not choose me. I have chosen you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit mm -hmm. and that your fruit should abide. Yes. So that whoever you ask, so whatever you ask the father in my name, I will give it to you. Yeah. These things I command you so that you will love one another. Mm -hmm. If this if the world hates you, look that it hates me before it hates you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
man, <laughs> you need to go back and read that. You can do a better job at reading than I did. But John 15, chapter 15, verses 12 through 18. Amen. He says, you didn't choose me. I chose you and appointed you. So I don't know what you've heard or who you heard it from. But if you didn't hear it from God, yeah. if you didn't hear, if you didn't read it from the Word of God, uh -huh. don't receive it. That's right. Amen. Some of us just hear stuff, and where it's hurt, especially if the, if it, if it's not spoken right. It says you did not choose me; I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that fruit should abide. Yes. So He's called you, called us to do something. Amen. And we. I've said this so many times. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see yes. or hear. But you gotta <laughs> have the word in you and yes. you gotta speak the word. Amen. Because you know there's lost souls out there. Yes. And we bring the good news to lost souls. Yes. And you're able to share word with them and convert them from lost to living. Mm -hmm. From lost to now being a child of God. Yes. Amen. And living a livable child of God with eternal life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, come on yeah. now. <laughs> Jesus' word, it was his final expression, expressed the greatest love towards his friends, us, yes. exchanged his life for our lives, demonstrated the greatest act of love the world has ever known or seen. Yes. You know, they beat him. His people not received them not. They received him as king one week. Mm -hmm. The next week, they're crucifying him. Yeah. Putting stripes on his back. And they crucified, he allows himself to be crucified. Mm -hmm. They couldn't kill him until he confessed. He told the Father, forgive him. And he forgave him. Yes. And then he surrendered himself to the Father. Mm -hmm. He gave himself to the Father. Amen. First Peter 5 and 8 says this. But the God of all grace, who hath called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make a perfect, established strength and settlement. Let me read it to you in the Amplified here. 1 Peter 5 and 8. After you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who imparts his blessings and favor, who called you to his own eternal glory in Christ, yes. will himself complete, confirm, yes. strengthen, and establish you, yes. yes. making you what you ought to be. Uh -huh. Amen. So you can't go wrong with him. That's right. You're going to be what he's called you to be. Mm -hmm. And he's called you to be somebody. I'm yes. a child of God going somewhere to happen mm -hmm. for somebody. Amen. Amen. They're going to hear a word. They're going to hear a seed coming out of you. It's going to give them life. Yes. Amen. And that seed is going to grow. Yeah. And we're talking about being saved. Mm -hmm. Salvation. Amen. The New Living Translation says this. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So that after you have suffered a little while, uh -huh. he will restore, support, and strengthen you. And he will place you in a firm foundation. We need a firm foundation yes. in the word of God. Amen. You know. Because if you're not planted on the Word of God, if you're not standing on the Word of God, you can be swept. Mm. And all you have to do is stop that relationship, mm. don't have relationship, and you start confessing the wrong things, and you start being like the world, and you're going to get swept away. Mm. Okay? Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. Mm. So press in and be full-time for him. Amen? Just like him. He came and he was full time in what God sent him to do. And you know, he had opportunities to quit, but he never quit. And he never sinned. He spent time with the Father. And we need to do the same thing. <laughs> On a daily basis, Lord, I give you this stress. I give you these problems. I cast them on you. I can't deal with them. He not understands that. But you have to release it. If you're not casting it on him, he can't take it. And he's not going to push himself on you. You have to receive him and spend time with him. So Jesus, the greatest soldier ever lived, served and accomplished all. Amen. He's a winner. 
The greatest soldier is Jesus. Stepped into the battlefield one day. He entered the fight knowing that it would cost him everything. He bravely won a great victory at a terrible price. He gave his life not for a nation, but for all humanity. Yes. yes he Amen. Did. He knew what he was doing. He yeah. knew what was going to happen. Uh -huh. And he pressed every day. Yes. We know what's going on. We hear what's going on. But still, we have to spend time with him, be strong, and press on. Amen. Amen. Press on. Whew, come on now. <laughs> right. His sacrifice served to set us free, or set us free from those uh, from sin. Mm -hmm. To know Jesus is to honor him. Yes. So give him honor daily. Give him thanks daily. You don't know what else to say. <clears throat> Lord, I honor you. Lord, I just want to thank you. You don't know what else to say. You can say that. You say, well, I'm not a good speaker. But you know how to say thank you. Somebody give you $100, and you don't say thank you. You know what? <laughs> I want him to give me some more. Yeah. <laughs> but you're going to say thank you. The best thing you can say is somebody gives you something to say thank you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So remember the sacrifice of heaven's greatest soldier. Today, let us remember this man, Jesus, and the sacrifice he made for all of us. First Timothy 3.16. Write these down. Mm -hmm. First Timothy 3.16. It's important to know the secret of God like living. Yes. Which is Christ. Came to earth as a man. Uh -huh. He was pure in his spirit. He was seen by angels. The nations heard him. Men everywhere put their trust in him. Yes. He was taken up into heaven. We we'll talk a little bit about this. Amen. Mm -hmm. But. Hallelujah. Jesus is for real. Amen. Yes, yes. We need to be for real. And he's alive. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. And uh, if you don't know about him, it's time you do. Yes. How do you get to know him? Again, get into the word and read the word and you get to know about him. Yeah. Amen. Get to know him. Relationship is you get to know each other. Yes. Amen. He knows yes. us. We need to know him. Yes. Amen. <laughs> And it, he says he never leaves us nor forsakes us. That's right. If you think he's gone, he ain't gone. You That's walked right. away. <laughs> yeah, <that is> <laughs> Somebody told you he's gone. No, 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 no. Maybe you always remember his appearing. Mm -hmm. God was manifested in the flesh. The greatest yes. event in human history. Right. Get God himself stepped out of eternity into time. Came into this world as a human baby. <laughs> Jesus laid his aside all heavenly addresses. Listen mm -hmm. to this. Like every soldier <laughs> who has served in the armed forces, yeah. Jesus left home. He left heaven and came to earth. Jesus lived a place of perfection, free from sin, pain, suffering, and sorrow. He began in heaven where he was exalted, honored, and worshipped. Yes. He willingly left all this behind and entered into this sin-cursed and hateful world. Yes. <laughs> he came to the world where even those who had waited for him, uh, uh, his appearance, rejected him. <coughs> his people uh -huh. rejected him. He knew this, but he still said, I'll go. Yeah. And he came. Amen. First John 1, 1 11 says this in the Amplified. He came to that which was his own, that which belonged to him, his world, his world, his creation, his possession, yes. and those who were his own people, yes. Jewish nation, did not receive and welcome him. That's right. No, so, come on now. In in other words, in the uh, easy to read verses, he says he came to this world that was his own, mm -hmm. and his people, his own people, yeah. did not accept him. They rejected him. Mm -hmm. Amen. They had a choice and they rejected him. What about you? What do you have to say? What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I just want to stay in the middle. Yeah. You know, you can't please the world and please God. That's it. You, you got to pick one on. and that's your <laughs> choice. You have to either pick him or pick the world. Yeah. But you can't be lukewarm. He says, I'd rather have you be cold or hot, mm -hmm. but don't be lukewarm. That's it. Receive it. Amen. Receive it. You know, we say, well, things look better on the other side. 
fix it better in the world. When you, when you start getting your eyes off of God, guess what? The world starts looking good. You know why? Because the flesh says, yeah, let's get over there. Uh, no. no, you got to get in the Word and clean yes. yourself. <laughs> yes. Amen? Get in the Word yes. and uh, and not feed on that negative yes. stuff. Amen? Amen? Come on now. <laughs> mm. He came to a land where he would be ridiculed, mm -hmm. hated, and killed. Mm -hmm. Yet, he came anyway. Yes, he did. Our soldiers go to places like this, ridiculed, hated, and killed, yet they go anyway. Mm -hmm. All for our freedom. Yes. Amen. What do you have to say about that? Mm. Amen. You know what? I never thought about Memorial Day, but I think I uh, start honoring and celebrating on Memorial Day mm -hmm. and on Veterans Day, thanking all our veterans. Yes, amen. Amen. Say, so, you know what, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be living in this free country. That's right. You know, we think about all the negative things and we think about complaining all the time, mm -hmm. but we never think about saying, you know, I live in the freest country. No, oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. You know, thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I, I got to get busy and do something. Yeah. And be a God pleaser and not just a man pleaser. Yeah. You know, get off your comb siyama and get busy for God. Yes. He put you here. If he put you here, that means you can do something. The Bible yes. says you can do all things, all things through Christ who Christ strengthens you. Yeah. It's time we know these things and get these things going. And get our feet, our faith yes. feet going. And start yeah. walking in faith and not in yeah. fear. Yeah. That's Amen. Right. We walk in fear all the time. Mm. Who are you confessing? Who are you serving? Are you yeah. serving the world? Are you serving God? If you're serving God, you're stepping out of faith. Yeah. Because I'm with Him, and I've got the Word in me. And when I step out, I'm going to step out in faith. Amen. Amen. Walking in faith. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Christ came into the world. Before the world began, the Word was there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. John 1 1 in the yes. easy to read version. John 1 14 says this and the world became flesh and dwelt among us uh -huh. and we beheld his glory. glory. The glory as yes. of the only begotten mm -hmm. of the Father, full of grace and full of truth. Yes. Thank you. These are good. These yes. are good to go over. You know, we got yeah. it. again, we gotta get the word, study the word. Yes. It says study to show yourself and prove. Yeah. Don't let nobody no one else or the world tell you. Find out for yourself. Yes. Study to show yourself approved. Amen. Amen. Woo, come on, you. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Amen. This is this is awesome. We're not going to finish all this. It's all right. But uh, it, 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 it's a good thing. Yes, it to, is. To, to know. Yeah. Amen. Jesus, the greatest soldier ever lived. Jesus laid aside his heavenly apparel. Yes. When a soldier enters the military, he changes the, to wear the same clothing that he wore as a civilian. Uh -huh. He now wears the uniform of his nation. Uh -huh. When Jesus came into this world, he willingly hid away his heavenly fame. Our soldiers do the same. Mm -hmm. Amen. When I was in the, soul, in the military all the time, I wore my uniform mm -hmm. with pride all the time. Amen. And there's a lot of people out there, you know, when I see, I'm retired now, but when I see a soldier, man or woman, I greet them and I say, thank you for your time. Amen. Thank you for keeping this country free. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We need to see people and not think, compete. Right. Always think, complete. A good word from you to someone is going to bless them more than you trying to compete with them. Well, you know, they're nobody. You put, try to put yourself above everyone. You try to build yourself up. If you're going to build yourself up, build yourself up in the word. Mm -hmm. And sometimes God's going to have you minister and bless somebody yes. below you. Amen. Amen. So it's okay. Jesus brought himself out of heaven yes, he did. and gave up all that yeah. to be before us to come and sacrifice himself Thank for you. us. Amen. Amen. Philippians 4, excuse me, Philippians 2, chapter 2, verse uh, 5 through 8. A couple of more scriptures and we're done. 
you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Uh -huh. Though he was God, he did not think of uh, he, he didn't think of uh, e uh, equality with uh, God as something to cling to. Right. Right. Instead, he gave up his divine pleasures mm. or privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. Mm. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal death mm. on a cross. Yeah. They couldn't find anything wrong with him. Still, they sacrificed him. Mm -hmm. Not only that, the top that they saw, what's his name? Uh, Barabbas. And say, which one would you have me release? Yeah. And they chose the wrong one. They chose a prisoner, a killer, yeah. over releasing Jesus. Mm -hmm. And they kept Jesus. And they brought him before the, the their leader and says, well, I can't find anything wrong with him. No. You guys, if you guys want him, you can take him and you go and, and, and then crucify him. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get involved with this. Mm -hmm. Praise God. He died a criminal death on a cross but you know what he had on his mind the whole time mm -hmm. he, he had you in his heart mm -hmm. he had us in his mind yes because he told the father he says i'm ready to come home mm -hmm. but before i come home he says i want you to forgive him mm -hmm. and guess what god forgave us mm -hmm. amen but now now we have salvation that we need to confess with our mouth some of us have done it for a long time, been saved for a long time. Some of us have never confessed Jesus, our Lord and Savior. It's time we do. Amen. It's time that we come home to him. Yes. Matthew 8 and 20 says, Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place okay. to lay his head. Mm -hmm. Amen. Here was God, the creator of the universe, born as a baby in Bethlehem. Here was God to whom belonged the earth. And the fullness thereof with no place to lay his head. Yeah. He was absolutely dependent upon a human mother, the Virgin Mary, and a father, Joseph, for his necessary foods. Yeah. Amen. Because Jesus left heaven and came into this world, he knew pain. He knew suffering. He knew rejection, hunger, thirst, loneliness, and many other things, and many other problems that are part of a human condition. He suffered all this. He suffered all that he died so that he might feel our pain and know how to comfort us yes. when the trials come. So he knows what we go through. Don't say, well, you know, he don't know what I'm going through. Well, you don't know my God. Did you read the story? Did you see? He just went through all these things so that he knows what we go through. Yes. Thank you. Amen. So he knows all this. But we have to confess it to him. Give it to him. Yes. And not hold it on to us. The last one is this. Hebrews 4. 15. And, uh, excuse me. Hebrews uh, 4. 14 and, uh, through 16. Easy to read version. He uh, says. We have a high priest. Who has gone to live with God in heaven. He is Jesus the son of God. So let us continue to express our faith in him. Mm -hmm. Jesus, our Lord, our high priest, is able to understand our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. With Jesus living on earth, he was tempted in every way. He was tempted in the same ways we are tempted, mm -hmm. but he never sinned. That's right. With Jesus, our high priest, we can feel free to come before God, God's throne, where he is grace, where there is grace. Where we can receive mercy and kindness and to help us when we need this help. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's gone through it. He's been through it. Amen. And we can yeah. come to him and thank God for grace. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So in closing, Amen. everybody said? Amen. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. So let's remember this man, Jesus, the greatest soldier that ever lived. Yes. Amen. He took our sins upon himself and he died in our place at the cross. And yes. we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you yes. to all our uh, men and women who have served and given their lives 
for this country to be free. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise God. Amen. So at this time, if you've never accepted Christ, it's time that you do. Mm -hmm. Amen. All you have to do is say, Lord, I want to come home. Yes. I've sinned against you. you I Lord. repent. Come my life and be my Lord and Savior. And you know, this is your opportunity mm -hmm. to say, Lord Jesus, be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And you know what? He will. I don't yes, care who's told you what. I don't care who said, well, there's no hope for you. Yes, there's hope. Jesus yes. went to the cross so that you yes. can have life and have life more abundantly. more abundantly. Amen. He says the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. We've been through all that. Uh -huh. But Jesus says, I've come that you might have life and have life more abundantly. More abundantly. So just confess him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And he'll come and your, th your life is going to change. But you got to make the change. And you got to start confessing the right things, saying the right things, doing the right things. Amen. Yes. So yes. praise God. Or if you're hurting, whatever hurt you have, you know, Father, I just pray for that spirit of infirmity to lead. Thank you, Father, that body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we just speak healing to that body. Body, receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Whatever that sickness might be, whatever hurt might be, we just call it will. We call it healed. By Jesus Christ, we are healed according to your word. And we're standing on your word. And we thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And magnify him and not the problem. Magnify him and not the sickness. Yes. You know, say, Lord, I thank you. If Jesus went to the cross and took the stripes. So this sickness, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I'm going to stand on your word. And I receive my healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And from now on, confess your healing and not your sickness. Confess yes. your healing and magnify your healing and not your problem amen right. so praise god yeah. well yeah. it's time to give those of you watching yeah. or listening would like to give or tithe you tithe their offerings you can still do so just go to our website nbcbigben.com and hit that donate button if you're mailing it nbc po box 252 marfa texas 79843 amen again we want to say thank you yeah. to all our military men and women that submitted, uh, sacrificed their lives, and to all our veterans that are out there still yes, serving. Thank, you, thank you so much for we live in the greatest free country in the world. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Don't talk. <laughs> I slid the whole thing over. <laughs> Oh well. It's off. Mm -mm. Don't say anything. 